Hi everyone, I am JT Pal, and today I'll be making another model airport update on my Jacksonville Fictional Airport. So yeah, this is in the 1-400 scale, and this is for January 2021. And this is the sixth update of this model airport. Since last time, not much has changed with the airport itself, but we got four new airlines and we got some new routes. So I came in to show all that off to you. And yeah, so this is my fictional Jacksonville Airport. This is a fictional one, not the real life one. Yeah, so. Yeah, um, yeah, so I'll be providing a channel at the end of the day. Stay tuned for that. And yeah, so how I'm going to do this, I'm going to start off with all the aircraft taxiing around the airport. Then I'm going to be on terminal A, B, and C. So, yeah, so I'm going to be starting off with the first aircraft. And this is our first new airline to the airport. So starting off. With the, the first aircraft, here we have an Air France, Air Force 850-900. This is a new airline. Um, pretty exciting to have them in the update now. Um, he's going to be, he riding from, he's about to take off from the way for a fly out to Paris, Charles de Gaulle. We went to Delta Connection. Here we have Delta Connection, CRJ-200. He riding from Pittsburgh. He's going to turn fly out there. We haven't used him in a while. We went to the next aircraft. Here we have a Delta A319. This is one of my new models. I'm very glad to have this model. Um, he arrived in from Detroit. He's going to be turned to fly out there. Fourth aircraft for departure. Here we have a WestJet 77 800. He arrived in from M10. He's going to be turned to fly out there. All right, moving on. All right, moving on now. Um, all right. If it, taxiing off the runway, here we have a Silver HR42. He arrived in from Marsh Harbor. And after he goes to the gate and gets loaded up with passengers, he's going to be making a fly off the Pensacola. So, yes, we, Silver has, is our, here's, here's our second new airline. Um, Silver has decided to fly to my airport. And also in real life, it's pretty cool. Um, so there we'll be doing flights to all sorts of Bohemian Islands and places around Florida. So I, I am very excited we can include this little Silver in my update. So, yeah. Moving on to the next aircraft and the final aircraft taxiing out. Here we have a Prime Air 767-300. He's taxiing out to run for final to Ontario. That's that's it for all the aircraft taxiing out. I'm going to move on to terminal. Already moving on to terminal A now. I'm going to start with the United section. Now we're just changing over at United. Um, we only have one change to a route. Um, it's on this one. So so on the first United aircraft here we have United Service Center 800. He's going. He rided from Newark. He's going to turn fly out there. Um, they have upgraded the Newark service from A319 to a 737 800. Moving on to the next United aircraft, here we have United A319. Um, he rides in from Houston Intercontinental. He's going to turn flight out there. Following United aircraft, here we have this beautiful United 757 200 in the Her are here in New York. Liberty. He rides in from San Francisco. He's going to turn flight out there. All right, moving on to our next aircraft, Terminal A. We have our third new airline. It is British Airways. So I'm very excited to use this in my airport update. Uh, this is the British Airways EB50-1000, so, they just, yeah, this is our new airline to the airport, um, they'll be doing routes to only the London Heathrow, um, yeah, they'll be using the AP50-1000, um, and British Airways sometimes will use a 787, so, um, when I get a 787, we'll switch them out every update, but, yeah, so, th yeah, so this AP50-1000, he will be heading out to London Heathrow. All right, moving on to the American section. Not much has changed here. So starting with the first American, here we have an American 777-200. He arrived in from London Heathrow. He's going to turn fly out there. A little competition with British Airways. Here we have a American. Here we have an American A319. He arrived in from Miami. He's going to turn fly out there. Here we have an American A321. He arrived in from Los Angeles. He's going to turn fly out there. Here we have an Alaska 77-900. He arrived in from Seattle. He's going to turn fly out there. No new changes for Alaska. Then finally, here we have an American 77-800 and one World Larry. He arrived in from New York LaGuardia. He's going to turn fly out there. So, yeah, um, this no, um, the New York LaGuardia route has been upgraded from a regional jet to a mainland jet. So that's pretty exciting. So, yeah, so they'll be they'll be used on it. They'll be using a 77-800 on that route. So, yeah. Um, I do hope that Gemini Jets or NG Miles will release a regular American 77-800. We, I need a regular one. I'm tired of using this one in every single update. So, yeah. That's it for Terminal A. And All right, so moving on to Terminal B. Sorry about the lighting. It's a little dodgy over here. Um, 
Yes, it's going to be starting with the Southwest section. So, Southwest, we got some exciting news. Next up, they'll be expanding to five gates. Um, They'll be taking over Sun Country Gate. Don't worry, guys. The Sun Country one will still be in the next airport. They, um, Sun Country has moved to a different gate. So, that's some exciting news because I'll be getting the Panama. So, I was sending them to 700 in the heart level. So, the, the, that's why I expand their presence because I ordered a bunch of them. Um, So... Yeah, there's going to be a lot. I ordered three of them, so if you're wondering. Um, yeah, so the next update, we should have mainly heart liveries. We'll have one state livery. Um, yeah, so my plan for state liveries, I'll have, they'll be on a rotation. I'll, they'll go, I'll rotate between all five of them every month. So that's my, so it might be a while before you see, like, Louisiana one or Colorado one. So, yeah, so yeah, that's it for my little ramble. Um. Yeah, so besides that, now it just changed for sale was on routes. So, yeah, so starting off with the first model aircraft. So, starting off the first Southwest model, here we got Southwest Summers and Summer, Illinois 1 livery. Yes, I know they're retired because I'm going to get a bunch of comments saying they're this one's retired, but I am using this as an update because it's a beautiful model. So, yes, yeah, so starting off with the first Summer 7700, and this is Illinois 1 livery. He riding from Burbank. He's going to be heading out to Chicago Midway. Next up here we got a Southwest Summers and a Max A. He's gonna be acting like an eight hundred. Um, yet um because this Max A from Southwest, um they haven't returned to service yet. They're planning in March so return to service. So in March we can finally use this as a regular Max A. But so this seventy seven eight hundred he riding from Las Vegas. He's gonna be making he's gonna be making a flight out to um we'll send him out to Austin today. Next up here we got the beautiful Louisiana one. Southwest Summer Summer Summer, what a nice, beautiful model by Gemini Jets. He read in from Nashville, he's going to be out to New Orleans. Final Southwest model. Um, here we have a Southwest um, 737-800. Um, he read in from, he read in from St. Louis, he's going to be making a fly out to Houston Hobby. Moving on to the Lonely Sun Country model, here we have a Sun Country 737-800. Um, he read in from... Minneapolis, St. Paul. He's going to turn flight out there. Moving on to Spear. Now, what just happened here? They, we just got a new aircraft to the airport. So, next off for Spear. Here we got Spear AF-21. He riding from Chicago O'Hare. He's going to be making a flight out to Fort Lauderdale. And final Spear here. Yeah, here's a long way Spear AF-20. So, yes, I finally have a model of this. I'm very excited to use this in my airport update. So, yeah, it's very exciting. So yes, yeah, so, so this Spear AF-20 Neo, he arrived in from Atlantic City. He's going to be making a flight out to Dallas Fort Worth. So yes, yeah, so I am glad I have this model now so I can use this in every airport date. So yeah, we on to Frontier, um, the Lonely Frontier. Nothing has changed over here. Here are Frontier AV 20 Neo Chanko the Bronco. Please, Jonas, NG Miles, Panama Miles, release a regular Frontier. Release a more Frontiers because I'm tired of using the same tail in every update, but... Yeah, that's a pretty nice one. So here we got a Frontier AV20 Neo and the Chanko the Bronco um, tail. Um, he rides in from Orlando. He's going to be making a flight out to... Um, he's going to be making a flight out to Trenton. Moving on to JetBlue. Um, here we have a JetBlue AV21. Um, he rides in from Fort Lauderdale. He's going to get turn flight out there. And final JetBlue plane. Here we have a JetBlue... EV twenty one Nia. Um, he rides in from New York, John Kennedy. He's going to make a return flight out there. That's it for Terminal B. I'm going to move on to Terminal C. So moving on to Terminal C now. I'm going to start with Delta section. Um, a lot of changes over at Delta. We got some new aircraft, including this one. Um, here we got another Christmas model. So start off the first Delta aircraft. Here we got a Delta seven fifty seven nine hundred. He ride in from Minneapolis, St. Paul. He's going to turn file out there. This is the 2015 version of Gemini Jets. What a nice model. Next up here, we got a Delta 747-800. He ride in from Seattle, Tacoma. He's going to turn file out there. Here we have a Delta Airlines or AV-21. He ride in from Atlanta. He's going to turn file out there. And here, we got a new aircraft. Um, See, so now the C um, Salt Lake City route has been upgraded onto H-20-300. So... I'm very excited to use this as my airport for the first time. So here we got a Delta AT20-300. He ran in from Salt Lake City. He's going to make a turn fly out there. What a nice model of Jonah Jets. And that was also a Christmas model. 
then next Delta aircraft here we got another Chris Small. Here we got a Delta AB four dash nine Neo. What a beautiful model. Um, yeah, he riding from Amsterdam. He's going to make a turn fly out there. And moving on to the gorgeous A three fifty by NG Miles on board Delta. Um, what a beautiful model. Um, he riding from Tokyo Narita. He's going to turn fly out there. Not sure if I said that route last time, but yeah, that's a new route. I haven't said that one yet. Moving on to the um. International Airlines, so here we a new airline. So, Hawaiian has decided to start flying by Jacksonville Airport. They'll be flying once daily to Honolulu, so on their AV30-200. So, yeah, really exciting news. Um, So, yeah, so this Hawaiian AV30-200, he arrived in from Honolulu. He's going to be turned fly out there. I'm sure this is going to be a great market for them. Moving on to another new airline, Copa has decided to fly in my airport, too. So, here... Here's a Copa San Francisco Max 9. Uh, he's going he riding from Panama City. He's going to turn fly out there. What a nice model with Jenna Jets. And the final model in the update here, we have an Air Canada Rouge Airbus A V21. He riding from Toronto Pearson. He's going to be making a return flight out there. All right, so that's conclude this Jenna Jets. Jacksonville model airport. <laughs> airport update for January 2021. So hopefully you guys all enjoyed this airport update. Um, sorry if my voice is a little weird because I'm not feeling the best right now. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so. Yeah, so moving on to the little update about this airport. Um, next month, this airport will be getting new terminals by the Mile Airport Network. You, the same ones that Aviation Team Mile High Aviation have those terminals. So I can't wait to have those, um. They're custom made for, I'll be getting three of them, so one for each terminal section. So I can't wait to show them all to you. I will make a video once I get them. I will review the terminals. And yeah, another change that's happening next month. Yes, um, Panama's um, Southwest 7700s are scheduled to come next month. Uh, I'm not 100% sure if they'll get here before the airport date. I hope they do. But yeah, I might have to push the airport, airport update back. And yeah, so. That does include this small airport update. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I'm JT Pop. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Can we get up to, yeah, this is a big one, guys. Can we get up to 200 subscribers by the end of February? Yes, I can't believe we're almost, we're already about to hit 170. Uh, it's crazy how fast I'm growing. So, yeah. All right, so that's going to conclude my video. I'd like to thank you guys for watching and have a blessed day. Bye.